Welcome to another episode of The Latest with Maya. Today, I am so happy to have a conversation with actress Rami Rosemont. Rami has been in so many different things, including CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Glee, and A Million Little Things. Uh, and she has also guest starred in so many things, including an episode of the show Grimm. Thank you so much for being on my show. I'm so excited to be talking oh, with you. It's my absolute pleasure absolute pleasure and I'm so excited to talk to you as well thank you um yeah so let's get started um so what are the songs that make you sing along whenever you hear them um almost any pink song oh yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm a massive massive pink um fan massive and her I mean uh, actually all of them but uh, her um and I, I I I don't necessarily know the the uh, the titles of all the songs like the one on her latest album um, that she wrote for her dad, which makes me cry every single time. And, and then Trust Fall and What About Us and I mean there's just there's so many, but I will sing along yeah. to any of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen her concert. I've seen her in concert twice. My my husband brought me there for my birthday this past year and because I want to I mean I, I want to be able to sing and fly I mean you know she does she basically flies around the stadium on wires and it's the coolest thing I've ever seen oh that's so cool yeah okay. I yeah I have always wanted to see her in concert well I'm sure that she'll be going coming to Denver you know sometime soon she's so worth it yeah I love her yeah. Me too. Yeah. Um. So, who has had the biggest impact on the person you have become? Hmm. I mean, I. I mean, of of course, of course, my family and my parents. My my dad was um he was a producer, and so I grew up working on film sets since I was like twelve. And so I learned a great appreciation for, for, for the whole package of what makes a television show or a movie and everybody involved, you know, it really does take a village. And then um, I've just, I'm, I always am someone who gains inspiration from my friends and from people who are, who are brave and bold and do new things like, like you're doing. Um, and, um, you know, I, I have a strong village of, of, of really good friends and I really gain a lot of inspiration from them and have learned so much. And so, and every day is a, a you know, I mean, I learn something new every day. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, so, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Hmm. Um, so what small things bring you joy on a daily basis? Oh, I love that question. I Thank absolutely you. love that question. Um, walking my dog or being around any dogs, I am 100%. Uh, I would have a ton of them if I could. My husband won't allow it. Um, <laughs> and, and and we can, he's the first small dog I've ever had. You, you can kind of see him. Let me see. Can you see him? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's it's raining out here, so he just doesn't quite understand why he's got to go out there and and be in the rain. Um, <laughs> so, so that I love baking, and um, and I love baking for other people. So that gives me great joy. Um, I I love I love what I do. So when I do get to work and I get to be on a set, that just just the littlest things bring me. It it, it feels like home. And um, and then just hanging out with friends or hiking or doing stuff like that, being out in nature for sure. Yeah. But I'm gonna say if I had to narrow it down, it would be baking and do dogs. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, both of those bring me a lot of jo joy too. I love okay. baking and yeah. What do you bake? Like, what's your favorite thing to bake? 
Uh, okay, I don't do it often, but... Um, What's your favorite to eat? How about that? What's your favorite baked good to eat? Um, my mom bakes the best uh, pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. So yeah. those are my favorite. Those are amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's got a great recipe. <laughs> yeah. How oh, good. She does. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, my favorite. And my sister, she's at, up at school right now, and she always loves taking when my mom bakes them bringing them up to school and she um sometimes like gives them to uh, she's an ra so she, oh, she like them gives them to some residents and, oh that's great uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i bet she gets a lot of friends that way yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, she, um, the last time she was down here, she was telling my mom that her residents want to know when she's baking more muffins. <laughs> That's great. So, That's yeah. Great. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite way to procrastinate? Oh, my God. I, I am... I'm such a master procrastinator. I am. Um, I have some, you know, paying attention and pay, being focused and concentrated is not my strong suit. And um, so uh, again, I will, um, I will straighten things and I will keep straightening things. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, you know, if, if um, like today I've got to sit down and I've got to write something. And um, I've known that I've had to do it for like a couple of months. And this is the deadline and I've done everything, whether it's literally clean the house or do laundry or, oh, no, no, I got to run to the market or I got to do this or, oh I, oh, I promised them I'd make that. So mm -hmm. it's just pretty much uh, anything will get me to procrastinate, but it's usually something like um, uh, doing laundry or, uh, or, or something um, in the house where I figured that's as important so I won't get in trouble for um, yeah <laughs> yeah um staying focused is not my strong suit either so <laughs> it's so hard yeah it is so I totally understand that <laughs> <laughs> oh good yeah yeah um so what genre of movie would your life story be told as Maya, that's a really good question. I would probably say a dramedy because, um, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I love, I love, um, I love comedy and I love making people laugh. And, and so in, in my life and, um, I will try to take the funny, you know, take the fun, like turn, um, either dark things or, or challenging things. Um, I'll try, I'll definitely infuse it with comedy but um, when those moments that have either been harder or more challenging or with good friends or someone who is facing an obstacle and I'm a, and I'm a part of it or something um, challenging happens in their life and it's a little bit more dramatic, um, I think that that's a good represent, representation of my life as well. So I think the balance of both would be the genre. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, my um family and I always we have a very <laughs> dark sense of humor oh, because yeah. everything that we've gone through, we just like I uh, like we just choose to laugh and find laugh. the funny in things, and so we have a very warped sense of humor that a lot of people always look at us when we're laughing at something and they're so confused why we're laughing <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the way to do it I think I mean I, yeah. I think we've got a lot in common with that because you yeah. you're, you're faced with obstacles and things like that and you really do have two choices right you can yeah. look find the humor in it to get you through it and yeah. get you through it together as a unit 
or yeah. not. And, and I, I think the the best way is to be able to, you know, to see the lighter side of it. And I mean, I have a very yeah. dark sense of humor. It's, you know, kind of sometimes twisted, but um, I also think it's, it's helped me through a lot of stuff that I'm sure it's helped yeah. you through. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. My mom has, um, always taught my sister and I that there's always something no matter like what you're going through there's always something to be good found in um the chaos and like something to laugh about so <laughs> your 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 mom sounds like a pretty incredible woman she is oh uh, that's lovely yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, she, she and my sister are my best friends. So, and, 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 um, uh, are you younger or older than your sister? Um, so we're twins, um, but she's three minutes older. So, okay. okay. Well, and yeah. I'm sure you, you don't let her forget that, but that's so yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, she doesn't let me forget that, that she's older by three minutes. So, <laughs> And I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so of all that you have accomplished so far, is there something that you are the most proud of? I really appreciate you saying that I've um, accomplished things because um, often I always think that I should be doing more, should be doing more, should be doing more. Um, but I think, uh, and this was ever since I was a kid, I think the thing that I'm really proudest of is the circle of um, of friends that I have been able to surround myself with and the kind of people they are and um, and the kind of friend I'm able to be to them. And I'm, I'm, I'm very, um, you know, proud's such a weird word to do that, to talk about when you're talking about other people, but I, I definitely pride myself on being present for people, um, for helping. And, um, and very often I'm, I'm in my circle of friends, the person that people come to. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a great joy and a responsibility I do not take um, for granted. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's important. It's important to have really good people in your life. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what three words best describe you? Uh, goofy. Generous. And I don't mean monetarily, I meant gener generosity of spirit and loyal oh i love that these are great questions maya they're they're ones that that thank you that make me think so thank, you. <laughs> thank you for saying that mm -hmm. um so do you have any irrational fears oh yeah oh yeah i do yeah um <laughs> Well, I have a very, I mean, whether it's, it's, it's right or not, there's, there's two of them that are like, I, I don't, I would probably just freeze. Um, snakes are one of them. So even, even a garden snake, I, I, I don't, I, 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 I can't think straight when, when I see them. And then um, um, swimming in large bodies of water, if I can't see the bottom, my irrational fear is not of sharks or jellyfish or whatever. Cause I, I have this fear in like a man-made lake um, is that um, someone's like body part is going to come up and, and smack me in the leg or in the arm as if someone uh, died in the, in the body of water and is going to float up and hit me. My husband thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> and then when there was a drought, when the drought and in Las Vegas, there's Lake Mead, there's big lake. And it started to go down and they found body parts. They found skeletons and they found a barrel where they were. And I was like, see, 
yeah. I have been proven right. <laughs> yeah. so, um, I am well aware that it's completely irrational, especially like in the ocean, but it, it's, it renders me absolutely. I'm like, you guys, you guys go do that. And I'll just yeah. swim in the pool, you know, yeah. or I mean, if, if I can see the bottom, I'm, I love it. So it's not swimming that I'm scared of. It's just the, the stuff I can't see. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, um, I think I'm going to add that to my list of irrational <laughs> fears. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my, I mean, honestly, my friends and my husband and family, they think I'm nuts, but it's like when I'm going in and thinking about going to, you know, in a pond or in a, you know, like up in the mountains and there's a pond or there's a lake and everybody's jumping in. I'm, I have to talk myself into it. Mm. I'm yeah. meditating into it. Like I won't not do it, but, uh, it's, uh, it, it definitely causes some unnecessary anxiety. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely understand that. <laughs> What's one of yours? What's one of your irrational fears? Oh, um, Okay, so I have a lot, but the only <laughs> the one that's coming to mind right now is like on a like Zoom uh, when I'm doing an interview. <laughs> um, I don't know why up until the point like the person actually logs on. I'm super anxious because I know there's no way anybody else would have gotten the Zoom link, but I'm always, I don't know why, I'm always like scared somebody else is going to come on the screen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, and then as soon as like they log on, my brain goes back to normal and I'm aware it's irrational, but leading up that. until that point, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I get that that's understandable yeah, yeah. <laughs> well thank you I I think your fear is understandable too thank you so. very much <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the next time my um my husband says something I'm gonna I'm gonna give him your number okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so what is something that people are always surprised to learn about you? Um, well, how old I am. They're always very surprised. They think I'm way younger than I am. And I think people are surprised at how um, str physically strong and athletic I am. Yeah. And also that... Um, Cause like I can, uh, I used to do physical comedy. Um, and one of my very best friends, um, Eric Gilliland in college, he taught me how to prat fall. So, uh, and I love it. And it, it, and I do it, um, you know, just to make someone laugh and everyone thinks that, um, she, you couldn't possibly have done that on purpose cause you're too old and you're, you know, this, and that. And so, um, I'm, um, people are always surprised that I have not hurt myself when I do that. Oh wow! Yeah. And that's why, and that's why I want to be pink and fly across an arena. I really yeah. think I can do it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So I am pop culture obsessed, and I go in stages of shows that I cannot stop watching. Is there a show that you are currently obsessed with? Not, I wouldn't say currently. I mean, because, you know, now it's the kind of thing where they all, um, you can watch so many of them, but I haven't watched anything. I mean, I was watching um, uh, 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 Fargo the last season and, and I, I really got into that and that was one where you had to wait the whole week for it to come oh, yeah. and um I definitely was very uh you know I was I would be like it's Tuesday it's Tuesday yeah. um yeah. But other than that I mean in the past uh there are there are a couple of shows on like the food channel and stuff like that or maybe I think it was the food channel 
that was a, like, I love candy. I, I love candy and I love gum. I love, I can talk for hours about it. And um, there was this show that showed you how, how things were made. And I was obsessed with that and could watch it um, over and over and over again, like how a gumball was made or how a Swedish fish was made or, you know, how, or just whatever it was. I, I loved, yeah. I loved seeing it because it also brought me so nostalgic. Yeah, but I do. I love, I, you know, to, I have a lot of cavities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think the uh, Food Network is fun. I like watching that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I watch it more than I it's like people I have friends who watch it and they get recipes. I'm um uh I just I I I want to know how how things are made. Mm. And then I'll let someone else do it. <laughs> except, oh, yeah. except, except for the baking. Except oh, for the baking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um so if you had a day to yourself, what would it look like? Where would you go and what would you do? Well, there's so many. I think it would depend where I was, but I think, um, I mean, there's also nothing better than sitting on the couch curled up, you know, um, with the husband and the dog and watch some, you know, with the fire going and all and, and watch some old movie, you know, an old Catherine Hepburn movie. But I think that um, going on a, a good and a beautiful and a challenging hike. And if I were to live in Denver, um, I, uh, it would be a day of skiing. Yeah, I grew up. Yeah, I grew up skiing. We used we, uh, we went to as a family, we went to Snowmass since I was since I was five years old I haven't been back in a really long time but um we'd go every year and that and and that was just there's such um there's such a beautiful feeling just being there and the air is so clear and um and it's just you zooming down something or being in the trees or things like that and it it's um it's such a um a relaxing a relaxing place but yet there's still that adrenaline rush yeah um so I think that Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you have um, a favorite comfort show or movie? I mean, something you mean, like if something was always on, I would have to watch it. I mean, th there are there are. Um... Like, yeah, like something you watch when you just need to escape and be comforted. And... Um. I mean, I, I honestly think that it would be something like, um, oh, well, huh. this is not that I can do it anymore. It's on Netflix. There's two of them. The world's, what's it called? Wait. Um, I think it's called The World's Most Amazing Homes. And they're just all over the world. And these two people get to go in and see like the coolest, like this one house that was on you know, this tiny little plot of land in Norway and, and how, and it had to be built in a certain way because of um, uh, the way the wind was, or there's this other show that's called the world's most amazing vacation rentals. And I'm, I, they've only done two seasons and I've gone back and I've watched it over and over and over again. Cause it just, you know, lets me fantasize about where, if I could, that I could go and, and be in that spot. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I so recommend it. They're oh, awesome. Oh, cool. I'll, yeah, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> and, yeah, thank you for the recommendation. You're very welcome. What do you watch? Um, when, uh, there, I have several that, like, show, comfort shows and movies that I just rotate between so I have um like Will and Grace and Friends. Oh Friends, yes, um, Friends. I, I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Um and um yeah, I'm trying to now I'm blanking on other that you, you got me at Friends. Whenever I see it on the guide, that's that's yeah. what I'm turning on. Yeah. <laughs> I one hundred percent agree. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
so those yeah usually friends and will and grace are like my go-tos so <laughs> and, and um i also love do you love um like i love melissa mccarthy movies oh yeah <laughs> like um the boss i think yeah the boss it's her and christian bell and then um identity thief um yeah i i love her yeah yeah actually speaking of melissa mccarthy gilmore girls is another one of my comfort shows you know, so many people um i know absolutely love it and i never i never started to watch it and then there's so many seasons that um I feel like a little bit intimidated and I know that I would love it. Yeah. I I mean, there is not anyone that I've ever met who was a Gilmore girl watcher that didn't absolutely love it and can watch yeah. it over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I think I, it's raining here today. Maybe I'll turn it on and take that recommendation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I highly recommend it. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I love inspiring and motivational quotes. And this week, my favorite quotation is, instead of saying one day, say day one. Not one day I'll change the world, but this is day one of changing my world. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, is there a quotation that has inspired you lately? I mean, there, there are so many. Um, I mean, I, I kind of save them on my Instagram, crazy enough. And <laughs> I, actually, I actually have something here that, um, but it's really long. So I can't, it's, it's really long, but it's something that I've always saved. And um a friend of mine had sent it and it says can i read it to you yeah it's long though look it so yeah i i i want to hear it though now okay. so um, it, it says as we grow up we learn that the people that weren't supposed to ever let us down probably will you'll have your heart broken and you'll break others hearts you'll blame a new love for things an old love did you'll fight for your best friend You'll cry because time is flying by and eventually you'll lose someone you love. So take too many pictures, laugh too much, forgive freely and love like you've never been hurt because every second you spend angry or upset is a second of happiness you can never get back. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that one has is, is been on the, the bulletin board for for a long time. I love that. Yeah, that's a great one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it, it was so much fun talking with you. I talking so, to you. Yeah, I, I so appreciate your taking the time for joining me. I just cannot tell you how much it means to me to be talking with you right now. Oh, Maya, it is my absolute pleasure. And I was so flattered and touched that you even reached out and wanted to talk to me. So it really meant a lot. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope you have um, a great rest of your day. Thank you, I will. Well, you've, you've planned it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna curl up and, um, yeah. and spend President's Day watching Gilmore Girls. Yes, you'll have to let me know what you think. Definitely, no. <laughs> yeah. Thank um, you. And that's a wrap on today's edition of The Latest with Maya.